Bare Bones Radio broadcast normal size quality. I smoke cannabis for one reason. It's an associator. My anatomy is able to back up and remember more using it. It assists in everything my anatomy is up to, and my anatomy is fighting infestation, fighting birth defects. It's just a lot of things attacking my anatomy that it has to bear war with every breath it takes. My genetics are crap. Cannabis assists in relieving pain through so many indirect ways that it comes out, well, I don't get to live pleasant, I don't. Even though I understand pleasant equivocally and bathe indirectly in it. And it fights a lot of my agony. The feeling of, oh man. Not only my feelings, it fights the source of the grief feeling, the physical pain feeling. My God, my anatomy is so relieved of so much physical pain because of its mind concept that it gets to live with because cannabis backs it up. Now, I have to stay healthy for cannabis to work. It won't work in a somewhat unhealthy anatomy. It won't. It suffers there, and the quality of cannabis has to be of a normal fashion. Right now, humans have cannabis all over this planet that is below normal. It's garbage. It's less than road hemp. They're blossoming road hemp and calling it medical marijuana. And... The trouble when you have any of these do-good ideas, there is so much fraud comes to take its place. That's one of the reasons these things have been outlawed. Because they can't keep the fraud out of it. There's two reasons things get outlawed. Everyone will benefit. They don't want that to happen, so they outlaw. Like, patent keeps one thing leading to another. One thing invention does, and one invention leads to another. Patent doesn't want that to happen. Because fraud doesn't want it to happen. The mindset of the inventor, the promoter, is those that want to make a profit with it are living in fraud. So they come up with patent to stop you from enjoying it by inventing something better with another and sending that on. Because every invention would be replaced very shortly with human wit inventing something and adding to that. Patent doesn't let that happen. Copyright. Crap. Patent and copyright are crap. They stop things from linking together. The computer is full of it. It defeats everything that computer is about. Patent and copyright and the mindset of those programming the computer are the deadly enemy of the globe. What a bat! May goddamn patent, copyright, Computer employees, anybody prospering using this method, drop dead. Get out. Your mindset is gutter. Get the hell off the planet. Move. Out. <laughs> Some, you realize what they're going to say someday because you're standing there like a child with your arms across a very narrow hallway. Well, you see, the hallway to the invention is not narrow. They have skeeted it down and then stuck a gate there. And called it law. Ha! The law someday is going to rebuke everything calling itself law now. What a bat! Especially the citizen. The heart of the law that won't live law. What is law? Generosity and mutual by the core of it. Law. Law demands you mimic the shape of your globe. Yeah, it does. And you ain't doing it by everything you say is the meaning. First of all, you defy the meaning of law and what it's talking about. So, it's fraud. You don't have any law. What nation has law? Which one? Liar. You can't point to one nation on this planet and point to its law. It doesn't have any. You're lawless, planet-wide. Law-wise, you're in conflict of interest. Those teaching the law don't even know what it's about. They think it's an asset and a prosperity. No one prospers using the law. Not allowed. Prosperity using the law. You've got some kind of luxury house as a Supreme, the Supreme Court would be living in ashes and sackcloth right now. The state of the globe, the state of the United States, 
The state of... Give me it. Give me it. This is red. Well, you see it red? It's green. But the Supreme Court sits in ashes and sackcloth. Right now and fast as an example. The Supreme Court sets the example. Are they doing it? Well, they ain't supreme. Nothing supreme about the lifestyle of the Supreme Court. Nothing supreme. Mocks humanity. Nothing supreme there. Mocker. There is no law. And mockers yell asset in it. That's not what the law is for, asset. No, it isn't. Especially by those employed in it. That's for sure. Which is, to me is all duty and contribution. And it's done by the citizens and what their lifestyle is. Alan Brickley, the law is the last place you go. Live your living. Above board. And tell me you need the law. No more sneaking. Now, do you need law? When no one is sneaking anymore, and everyone is living above board, very genuine, very authentic, very honest, very mutual, honest with themselves, they can lie to you all day long as long as they're honest with themselves about it. Do that and lie all you want. One.